ਸਸ਼ਿਕਾਲ ਜੀ ਮੈਂ ਅਮਨਦੀਪ ਸਿੰਘ ਪਿਰਾਮਿਡੀ ਸਰਵਿਸਿਸ ਦੇ ਫੇਸਬੁੱਕ ਪਲੇਟਫਾਰਮ ਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰੀ ਫੇਰ ਅੱਜ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਰੂਬਰੂ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਹਾਂ ਅਤੇ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਜੋ ਟ੍ਰੈਂਡ ਕੰਟੀਨਿਊ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਮੇਕਿੰਗ ਸ਼ੋਰ ਦੈਟ ਆਲ ਦਾ ਯੂਨੀਵਰਸਿਟੀਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਕਾਲਜਸ ਦੈਟ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਐਸਪਾਇਰਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਸਟੱਡੀ ਐਟ ਆਲ ਦਾ ਯੂਨੀਵਰਸਿਟੀਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਕਾਲਜਸ ਦੈਟ ਆਰ ਅਵੇਲੇਬਲ ਇਨ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਐਂਡ ਆਰ ਪਾਰਟਨਰਡ ਵਿਦ ਪਿਰਾਮਿਡੀ ਸਰਵਿਸਿਸ ਆਰ ਬ੍ਰੌਟ ਇਨਟੂ ਦਾ ਲਾਈਵ ਪਲੇਟਫਾਰਮ ਆਫ ਪਿਰਾਮਿਡੀ ਸਰਵਿਸਿਸ ਐਂਡ they talk about the current scenario how how the things are looking from the university perspective what is the approach carried out by the university and obviously talking about the the programs and the eligibility criteria at the university so uh, not taking much time i hope everybody is keeping safe healthy with their families i am amandeep singh head international relations at pyramid services would like to welcome nikita who represents a very renowned university of canada that's based out in northern vancouver in british columbia kevlano university uh, nikita thank you so much for joining us live for the session i hope you are doing well and everybody is uh, safe and sound in your family thank everybody is fine well first of all before starting the session i would like to say thank you for the opportunity it's a wonderful platform in order to give the updated information to all our student or our partners related to capilano or related to covid-19 and what is the current situation in terms of uh, any university or i university in vancouver and what are the major intakes or our measures have been taken by our university in order to support our student perfect perfect so you know uh, jumping to the bandwagon uh, uh, the the primary concern the the students have right now is that is you know how things are looking in canada uh, what 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 approach is uh, you know carried out by the students in canada in terms of uh, the 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 you know uh, safeguarding the health of the students helping them out to live their dream of education in canada so you know it would be great if you can touch base a bit about that and how is the situation of of covid-19 in canada right now okay so the first start with i will start with your uh, university then i will move on to canada sure so uh, what cap uh, if some few of our, our students already uh, have taken the admission in capilano or few of them are planning to take so in terms of if you have any query which is related to covid 19 in terms of capilano university so they have created one official page on the official website dedicated to frequent ask questions and regular update because yes. everything is changing from day to day basis but then also this is my recommendation please visit the official website because your aapke journal queries has already been answered over there right so you will find all the updated information and the basic journal doubt what you have in terms of our university or in terms of capu so you can simply visit the official website that is a very simple it is capilano.ca apart from this there's one update which i would like to share with all of our students or our partners that capilano have launched financial aid or a grocery in terms of covid 19 kyunki few of our students are like ki they want to go abroad ye canada mein they are planning to go but due to some financial issue due to pandemic they are suffering let's say some financial crunches there so this grocery can help you you can apply it open for everybody you That's can great. apply and you can seek the financial aid so this will help you to achieve your dreams without making any further delay apart from this let's talk about the general scenario in canada or in capilano situation in canada is better than india our situation is worse that's why the travel ban taken place apart from this most of the universities um like a situation was great in last to last month let's say in march was fine or february was fine so most of the universities have already made this official statement from september intake they are going fully offline and as per the update whatever we received that canada kind of not official but they have made a comment that they will able to vaccinate most of their population till june end right. let's take about one or two months more let's talk about july or august and the situation is great in india and we op- able to lift up the travel ban so you can simply go to canada and can attend your classes offline as well and this is just a basic update from capilano and for all from my university jo hamare bachche like a few of the people because capilano has three intake within a year for the month of january may and september the people who have already traveled for the main intake in the month of march or april before the flight ban so they are already attending their classes offline but um, simultaneously online classes are also going on because there are few students who are not able to reach canada 
due to obvious reasons. So both other things are taking place. So you don't have to worry about there's a full type. Full support is available for every student on every step. Great, great. Absolutely. Yes. You know, we, we, we ourselves have been sending, sending students to Kepalano University and uh, yes. have been sending them during the COVID times as well. So the points mentioned by you in terms of students being there in Canada or in India attending online classes, all the support has been provided. And like you gave a breaking news about bursary being given to the students yes. as a financial aid, that's okay. also a big, big benefit for uh, the students. There's one point which I want to add. For the bursary, you guys have to share the documentation. Right. And they will ask for it. And then if you are eligible, then only you will find bursary. I mean, yeah. You will receive bursary. Okay, that's the basic point you have to keep in mind. But it's Perfect. available for you guys. Perfect. Perfect. Right. Absolutely. So, you know, uh, as you know, you yourself are based out in India right now and uh, connecting with the, you know, the students as well. Uh, the the exams being postponed or being on hold, the results being on hold, then IELTS exams not being conducted, and also you know the travel restriction and then primarily the medical uh, issue. Uh, you know the students are unable to get their medicals done because of the the COVID situation, and uh, obviously the the guidelines of 15th May being the deadline, which created a lot of confusion that after 15th May, if I apply, I will not be able to get my you know visa, which is not true. Uh, so, so you know, there is a lot. There is a lot going yes. on. Uh, so, if you can just talk about these aspects, how do you, as a university, look at these things? What is the uh, mindset at the university, and uh, how do you see things changing in the coming future? Okay. First point, I would like to address regarding your uh, delay in the board exams or delay in the final graduation exams or a post graduation exams for any of the student who is applying for a UG PG or PhD even, totally your call. So, Capilano is accepting uh, admissions on the basis of predictive scores. If you have standard 12th year student and you both have not taken place, then also we can, you can apply in Capilano with whatever the last examination you had. It could be your half yearly, it could be your uh, pre-boards. And same goes for the graduate, uh, graduate student, which you have last mark sheet available, hai. it could be fifth semester or four semester that could work apart from this the second point what amandeep have already mentioned yes as per the latest update from the high commission ki 15th may is the last day but there is literally a loophole guys please read the notification very clearly they nowhere have mentioned this so you now also you can apply every university, our university is so open and most of the universities are accepting application. And there is one more point, this is a very general statement I am giving you. So you guys can open and if your um, classes are going online in the month of September, if you apply on August 6th also for the visa, let's just uh, taking it hypothetically. Ki aap apka file jo bhi hai, it summit, you submit on August 6th, I think that as per the deadline or as per the official statement. You submit, then also you can receive your visa in the month of September. You don't have to worry about. There's always a way, a way if you are willing to find that. Right. And you don't have to worry on any point. There is a full support is available for you. Your counselors are there. We are there in order to support you. So don't worry. You can simply apply for September intake and simultaneously January intake as well. As per your choice. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much for you, your insight on this. Uh, just to ask a quick question, like uh, you spoke about the academic support that the university is giving for conditional offer letter. Would the state student be able to get that for IELTS as well? Like because IELTS exams are also not being conducted right now. Uh, no, from Capilano University, they are accepting admissions on the basis of predictive scores only. That is also for standard 12th graduation or post graduation. A student should have a valid IELTS, PTE, Duolingo, or TOEFL, whatever the exam he has given. So, as of now, we are requesting for it. I understand. So, guys, that is not a problem, but we have not received any official documentation from this from the international team. So, till that time, I will not comment any fake promises to you guys. So, as of now, you have to give there should be a clear result 
of TOEFL, Duolingo, PTE, and IELTS from our end because we accept all these. For example, you have given any one that will work. Okay, yes. Thank you for clarifying that point, but but the academic uh, standpoint also helps out the students because of the delays. So uh, it's a great call, and like you said that. Uh, September intake is available and also January intake is open for the students. Yes, now it's open. If you are worried and you know you are uh, feeling to all the viewers who are watching us right now, uh, if you are feeling that you know uh, uh, you want to go for January intake instead of September, you can apply for that as well. But don't wait, don't spend you know time sitting on your couch thinking when things are going to end. Only then you will start it off because then it will extend the process more. You have to spend more time and you will you will be in. Probably last line of the queue to get the visa. But if you start your process now, apply at the university, get your offer letter, pay the deposits, get the final LOA, and then you know uh, prepare your file for the visa. We we will help you out for the visa application. Apply, get your medical, and attach that to your file so that you know once the medical opens. So so you will not be in queue. You are already way ahead of of lot of people because you have done all the things which are needed to be done. So please don't wait. all the things which are already which can be done you you have to make sure that you take care of that and when uh, the medical facility for you know medical documentation opens you can do that and like nikita ji shared don't worry the communication said if you apply before may 15th you will get your visa before august 6 but that doesn't mean if you apply after may 15 you will not get the visa that never happens if you yeah, apply that, you that is Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, carry on. So in here, I want to add what Amandeep have already mentioned. Guys, uh, don't think about it now. The COVID is going on, so nobody is applying. It's not like that. Every student who wants to go and don't want to waste time, he is applying for Capilano, like for our university. Absolutely. If I talk about there are few programs which are already closed for September intake. because they are full with the uh let's say they uh, in a uh, capilano is a government funded university public university we don't have a very strict limitation of the seats we have limitation keep a note of it but not a very strict or rigid but we are a teaching or a learning university so we keep a gap of uh, like i mean to say our classroom strength is going to be small only 25 to 30 not more than that जब हमारे ये सारे स्लॉट फिल हो जाते हैं क्लोज ही प्रोग्राम फॉर सेप्टेम्बर इंटेक बिकॉज वी कैन नॉट कॉम्प्रोमाइज ऑन अ क्वालिटी ऑफ एजुकेशन फॉर अ स्टूडेंट फर्स्ट नॉट गोइंग टू बी लाइक 200 पीपल इन वन क्लास इन वन टीचर नो सो इन हाउ दैट्स व्हाट आई एम सेइंग प्रोग्राम्स आर गेटिंग फिल्ड अप इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट दे विल बी ओपन टिल ऑगस्ट नो If you want to go ahead, prepare everything, do your groundwork. Then just basic things will remaining that you just have to go to the VFS in order to submit your documentation or your medical. But at least done with your groundwork. For that, your counselors are there, paramedic team is there, capellano is there. So don't get confused. Don't be like, uh, now the COVID is going on, nobody is applying. So there's a lot of things are remaining. It's not like that. and the delay you will make if you have every documentation with you don't delay this is even my recommendation every university is providing your support in this situation we are aware of the pandemic we are aware of the situation of our students so you don't have to worry about it but don't make it delay ki aisa nahi ki like you will think about september intake when the august is starting or as per the deadline you are receiving august 6 as a date so you will be like i will apply in august 6 only for the university and then it will mo take more time in order to come your loa or offer letter then it will make further delay in your process ki itna delay na ho jaye ki that you lost that intake and where you could have a very golden chance or opportunity that you would have very easily can go and start your education in timely basis and you have everything available on your hands so don't lose the opportunity this is my recommendation amandi please carry on very well uh, nikita you uh, rightly said to all the viewers who are watching us right now don't wait it's not that the that that you know uh, the students are down you are not applying most of the seats most most of the programs at capilano are closed and even for january you will see that soon the programs are going to be closed so if you want to apply at capilano university it's a good time 
if you're worried that September is not going to be a possibility from the current scenario standpoint, you can always apply for January intake. That if you have any thought in your mind, which which you know which makes you feel that you know you don't want to go for September, January is open. We are there to help you out to to apply for your application. And Nikita ji from from the university herself is you know uh, here available with us, so she's also specifying the same thing for you. So yeah. Nikita ji, just to get more to the uh, to the next question that I that I had from this only, uh, that is, uh, what kind of support the university? So why what kind of a support? If I talk about, but basic basics clear करते हैं. First, whenever you take admission, there's a full advising team is available. If you are confused about the course registration, how should you take? how should you register for your courses before the september intake starting so for this you can talk to the advisors we are actually building up uh, like one on one session with the counselors for you that nothing has been official but we can do it and even i can guide you if you want my assistance for capilano apart from this when you are your admission is done before starting your classes we also conduct one weekly session like every week we conduct a session that is friday with the international team and with cie cie is basically stands for center for international experience which provide you support for capilano at any point if you have any query you can attend this sessions and can your uh, you can get your basic doubts clarified With the team. Apart from that, before starting any intake, we conduct a pre-departure session in which we will tell you how, like this used to happen physically prior to every intake, before, uh, like starting of the every intake. They used to give you information if you are new in Canada how you have to settle over there. But now due to COVID nineteen situation, every pre-departure session is getting off. I'm uh, sorry, online. so in which they will they will share you the basic process how things work in canada when you are a new student how your academic will take place how your courses will take place. you will get all the information in here apart from this fourth i will talk about the financial bursary what capilano have offered you if you are eligible for it please apply apart from this these and we are there these are just few examples what i have provided you what support do we provide you apart from that we are available for you on every step you don't have to worry about. apart from this uh, francisco is a part of international team so now what we are doing due to pandemic or a online situation or we will make it a continuous practice as well bachche ka jab admission ho jata hai he is in india so every friday night uh francisco connect with all these students which have the basic doubts and he just uh, do a live chat type of session he give the overview of capilano to all these students and the basic doubts uh student can clarify with him uh thank you so much nikita thank you so much for adding in the pointers that i asked about the my previous question uh that's the support provided by the university to the students and uh Uh, my apologies to the viewer there was a little network glitch at my end so i had i i got logged out in a bit but uh, i hope my viewers and my colleagues can hear me out uh though though the kepalano university needs uh, no introduction when it comes to the international students specifically from india uh, but nikita it would be great though you have touched based about september and january being open september majorly being online but the dependency is uh, you know if things get better we are expecting to have the campus is open but it also depends on india how the travel restrictions or the situation of covid gets gets into a better stage in india and uh, that's how things are going to be in the in the coming future or the changes are going to be in the coming future once the things get better over here with us but but uh, still like you said earlier also that the the students are applying students are looking forward to the offer letters and everything uh, to the new viewers who who uh, you know don't know much at the moment about the university the students who passed out lately uh, and are aspiring for education in canada uh, would you would you be able to share in brief about the college about about the university programs about the eligibility criteria certain usps i know it's pretty uh, lengthy to talk about but if in brief you can share certain aspects with us that would really be great yes so i will try to 
cover these points without not making a very lengthy conversation. So let's start with Capilano. Capilano University is a 53 year old teaching and a learning university. And it is one of the oldest and the largest public funded university from North Vancouver, British Columbia. Basic introduction I would like to give. It was like it is established. It was established in 1968. It is a, a teaching and a learning university. If I talk about the programs, we offer you four years of a bachelor degree, associate degrees, PG programs, few diplomas, pathway and certificate programs. And if I talk about the students, we have 11,000 circle students out of which 3,200 are international students who are coming from 86 different countries. But out of those 3,200 as well, 1,000 plus are Indian international student. And Capilano is the first university, public funded university from North Vancouver, British Columbia, with North American accreditation. Accreditation ka aapko ye benefit hota hai ki your program is valid in Canada as well and it's valid in North US as well. So our students can apply for the jobs in both the countries. And we even have few programs which are affiliated with this accreditation. Apart from this, let's talk right. about the few USPs. Why should you choose Capilano? What's so special about this university? So first, I'm talking about location. Vancouver, everybody has heard the name. It is very green, surrounded by nature, have, have a very mild or a moderate climatic condition, which is very similar to our Indian climatic condition, so you don't have to worry about it. Apart from this, it's a tourism hub, hosted 2010 Winter Olympics. Apart from this, it's the third most livable city in the world with very high HDI index. If I talk about Capilano here, so Capilano has three campuses based in Vancouver. But our main campus is located in North Vancouver and it is also surrounded by nature from every side. If someone have a love for outdoor activities, you have every option available over there. Apart from this, if I talk about the accessibility, you have 30 minutes for going to downtown Vancouver. Ke liye. 20 minutes for the mountain range and 10 minutes for the beach, not more than that. Apart from this, we have the hostel facility in here. Your CI is located in here. And all the international program for all the international student takes place within this campus only. Let's talk about the program. So I will just give you an overview. If we have a student from commerce background, standard pass out, uh, standard 12 pass out, what option does our student have? Graduation ke baare mein baat karte hai. Pehla, aap business administration programs ke liye apply kar sakte ho. You have three options under this category. Four year of a bachelor degree, two year of a diploma, and one year of a certificate program. The second one is going to be communication. You have two options under this. Two year of a diploma program and four year of a bachelor degree. And in here, if I talk about your PG or a business related program or an MBA program, so you can apply for NABU and NABU applied. These are those two programs which are affiliated with North American accreditation. And these programs stand for North, uh, North American Business Management post bachelor Diploma. What is the difference between these two? NABU is a one year of a program with three terms and you can avail a work permit up to one year. Whereas NABU applied again a post bachelor Diploma, two year of a program with three terms and four months of a practical session or an internship. And a student can avail a work permit up to three years. That is a maximum limit. And if I talk about a student who's coming from a arts or a humanities background, you guys can apply for associate of arts. Associate degrees are two year of a program, so don't get confused. Associate of arts in journal, creative writing, English and psychology. The third category is going to be if we have a student from science background. Our student can apply for Associate of Science, Journal, or with a specialization in Bio or Psychology. Apart from this, you can also apply for a Kinesiology program. And let's talk about the journal categories. One is ECE, Early Childhood Care and Education. In that, you have three options. You can apply for a four year of a bachelor degree, two years of a diploma, and one small pathway program, that is an eight month. And then you have tourism. Again, journal category, I mean to say any student from any background can apply. Commerce, science, arts, doesn't matter. So you have four options under this. Four years of a bachelor degree, two diplomas, one is a co-op and one is a tourism international, tourism management for international student or TMI. And then for the PG, you can apply for global hospitality and tourism management. So this is a basic overview of the program. Or quickly, let's just uh, uh, 
टॉक अबाउट योर एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया और वॉट डॉक्यूमेंटेशन डू वी नीड अगर आपके अकेडमिक के बारे में बात करें तो वी रिक्वायर मिनिमम सिक्सटी परसेंट इन टर्म्स ऑफ यू जी और पी जी फॉर कैपेलानो आपका ओवरऑल एग्रीगेट होना चाहिए सिक्सटी परसेंट का फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ दी प्रोग्राम फॉर वी ऑफ यू इन कैपेलानो बट फॉर नावो और नावो अप्लाइड वी रिक्वायर सिक्सटी फाइव परसेंट इन टर्म्स ऑफ योर ग्रेजुएशन और मास्टर्स एंड इफ आई टॉक अबाउट योर कोर सब्जेक्ट ओवरऑल आपका फिफ्टी होना चाहिए इन टर्म्स ऑफ कोर इन ईच सब्जेक्ट सेकेंड इफ आई टॉक अबाउट योर अकेडमिक सॉरी इंग्लिश रिक्वायरमेंट एग्जाम्स सो कैपलानो फॉर एग्जाम एक्सेप्ट करता है ड्यूलिंगो ट्रॉफल आईस एंड पी टी आईस की रिक्वायरमेंट सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव ओवरऑल नॉट लेस एन सिक्स इन इच मॉड्यूल टॉफल इज एटी थ्री ड्यूलिंगो इज वन हंड्रेड एंड टेन एंड पी टी इज ओवरऑल फिफ्टी सिक्स चाहिए इन बिटवीन मॉड्यूल इज नो फिक्स नंबर अगर आपका किसी मॉड्यूल में फिफ्टी है फिफ्टी टू है दैट विल बी ओके यू शुड है ओवरऑल फिफ्टी सिक्स द थर्ड रिक्वायरमेंट यू शुड हैव अ वैलिड पासपोर्ट विद प्रॉपर वैलिडिटी बिकॉज योर स्टैंड कॉपी इज रिक्वायर्ड वेन वी आर प्रोसेसिंग दी एप्लीकेशन fourth point which is not mandatory for the ug students or ug programs most of them but they sometimes even request for it but it is mandatory for your pg program iske andar aapke do cheez aati hai pehla aata hai aapka basic cv which is a two page of a resume nothing too high fat just a basic one and the second part is letter of intent letter of intent you don't have to worry about you just have to explain why are you interested in this program for this your counselor will help you Don't worry. They will have the all the updated information with them, and they know how to prepare one. Absolutely. Uh, yes. Apart from this, there's just few things I would like to add in terms right. of what people have a myth for Canadian University or for Capilano. First point: we accept gap years, extended degrees, and backlogs. We don't even have a fixed number of it. But if you apply for it, it should be clear. Nothing should be impending. The second point. We accept open board, distance education, and international board. But to some extent, we have to evaluate your documentation in them. कि what kind of basic evaluation कि आपकी university कैसी कैसी है is it eligible sorry is it deemed or not so these kind of precautions we have to take. And third point, math is not mandatory in Capilano for business administrative program and associate of science. So these are the basic key factors. Apart from this, if you want me to add anything in particular, Amandeep, please let me know. But I think I have covered most of your areas. I have given you a basic overview of the university, for the location, for the programs, what we offer you, and how the eligibility criteria takes place in here. Let's talk about the admission or the application process as well. So for the admission. For Capilano, it's going to be online only. We don't have any paper application or offline application from India. So, for this, you we have to create your account on a portal. Once the account has been created, we have to fill up your form. We have to process the admission fee. That is application fee. That is one thirty-five Canadian dollars for every international student. Apart from this, the general turnaround time for your offer letter is. Two weeks or fifteen days. Everything is correct. Everything is in order. You can receive a offer letter on a timely basis. Apart from this, there are few cases or the courses in which departmental review or approval is takes place. So your offer letter can take a bit of a more time in order to come. It could be three weeks. It could be four weeks, depending from case to case basis. And due to competitive entry, we have to keep a note of it. I hope we have covered all the touch points. Is there anything you would like me to add, Amandeep? On this, we have covered the basic overview of the university, about the location, about the programs and the eligibility criteria, and how the admission and application process takes place. Right. I think I think you have touched base the the important points that uh, the students should get an idea about in terms of if they want to apply for the university. and and if if you know if the viewers uh, uh, want to know more about the university if you, if they want to understand the process which uh, nikita ji has touch based on you can always contact uh, pyramid e services we are their you know recruitment partners we have been recruiting students for them over uh, you know number of years now and uh, we will definitely be able to help you with a stronger process in terms of getting the offer letter on time and everything and like like nikita ji was sharing that uh, we have we don't face much of an issue in terms of getting the offers on time the applications when we submit they come under the given timeline so uh, but apart from that nikita ji absolutely you have touched the valuable points in terms of the programs admissibility criteria 
and you have already shared about the conditional offer support as well that you know from academic standpoint the students will be supported by dials in yes. dueling or dueling with the need i think uh, we can we can uh, call it a day today because uh, i'm sure the parents or the students who wanted to know about the university have got an idea and also like nikita ji and i have been saying this to you that don't stop dreaming don't stop your aspirations of international education in canada you can always apply its students are still applying and we'll be definitely be able to help you out with the process of your application at the university and uh, to know more about it you can contact us on the number that is shared below on our screen if you want to know more uh, about the university the program that is good for you we'll definitely be there to help you out and also uh, Uh, there are certain locations who are still under the lockdown wing if you want to uh, who i should say are uh, you know uh, having certain moment the offices are open in those areas like jalandhar moga ludhiana or uh, even hoshiarpur and few other locations of pyramid are open for a designated uh, or i should say a limited amount of time you can speak to our team over there if you don't want to travel around visit any office you can always contact us on the number that is uh, given on the screen so on that note thank you so much uh, nikita ji thank you to all the viewers who have been watching us and uh, stay safe stay healthy let's hope this pandemic ends soon and we get back to our normal life thank you so much thank you so much have a good day pyramid visa for a better life